<laughs> yeah, I was going to, you know, <laughs> use my heavy case to like dunk across the head. But... She's got this massive like military style. <laughs> Welcome back, you guys, to my channel, and here to join me today is the Ethereal Sisters Paranormal from their YouTube channel. Pina yeah. and Sean do most of their travels to the most haunted locations in Perth and around Australia. Pina has been into the paranormal ever since she had a negative attachment at 15. Now Pina is developing her medium abilities and putting them to the test on every investigation. Sean has always been fascinated with the paranormal and is an empath with her gifts combined. They can connect with the spirits on a whole no new level. Welcome guys. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, our first question is what got you interested in the paranormal even after the trauma you went through and why? Like, how did you get um, back into, like, investigating? Yeah, so it's always been there and always something that I've wanted to do. But, um, you know, I was, I was in, you know, like I had, like, a lot of health issues going on and I was in quite a toxic um, relationship. And so I never really had the opportunity and I think also you know due to that relationship I never really thought that I could stand on my own two feet and you know go and start something mm. like we have and so yeah um we separated and you know I've been doing really well now yeah um it's been a journey for sure but um, yeah, earlier in the year, so what around May, yeah, May June. Yeah, June, you moved in here. I had a chat with Sean, yeah. and I talked to her about it because I'm just like, okay, well, I can do this now because I've got, you know, when I was in that relationship, like my mindset wasn't. Oh, it was. Bad. It was quite. Yeah, bad, negative. It would have been really dangerous to do anything. <clears throat> yeah, then. and especially with, you know, the gifts that I do have. Um, yeah, very dangerous. So, you know, once I got to that point, I guess, of having, you know, feeling stronger and feeling more empowered and, um, you know, confident with being able to do stuff myself, um, yeah, yeah. I had a chat with Sean and I'm like, I want to do this and I want you to do it with me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, wanna... I'm sorry. sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like excited. So you like, you wanted to get back into that. You wanted to overcome anything from the past with paranormal, like. Yeah, I've met, opened yeah. a new chapter. I mean, for me, um, I've always been um, into the paranormal um, the only thing that freaks me out is aliens, but everything else I'm super <laughs> interested in. Like I have never, I've, I've never watched the alien movies because I, I just I can't. <laughs> but no, they scare me. But um, but then I'm not afraid to go. <laughs> no but with demons either. and stuff, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. we could be that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. It's, interesting and then um you know having fibromyalgia and not having worked for a few years i was starting to feel you know you feel useless worthless can't do anything um so i thought i'd give it a go see if i could keep up with her which sometimes <laughs> <laughs> not all the time the odd the odd moment here and there yeah, but it but it's been good because it's given me it's given me back some purpose which you yeah. know is yeah it's been yeah I've enjoyed it yeah and I mean like I've always been into like horror and oh, yeah. you know I was reading Stephen King at 12 and, yeah <gasps> stuff like that <laughs> I had and, some weird you know, books. Watching, 
<laughs> yeah, like watching other, you know, investigators, you know, go to different locations and stuff. And, you know, it was always something that I was just like itching to go and do. Mm. But like I said, I would not have been strong enough, um, no. you know. Yeah. Back, I've back always then. loved those shows. I have a very favourite one. <gasps> What's your favourite one? <laughs> I had that. <laughs> Which one? She, she has like a mild crush. Just a mild one. No, <laughs> uh, it's a big crush. <laughs> uh, I was no, being sarcastic. I, I, um, I can't remember when it was the, I think it was a two, end of 2010 was the first time I saw one of the episodes. And then I went and I hunted down the documentary that they did, him, yep. Aaron and Nick. Oh my, first. that's the one. That's the one I saw first and i was like i want to do this like, after that, do yeah. and i was yeah. like oh my gosh if i could find people who want to do this but wait do i have the guts to do it <laughs> same yeah, yeah. And, and by guts i mean putting myself on camera everything else yeah fine um oh gosh overcoming that was like a big deal like, for her, yeah for me, yeah it was a huge deal but i feel like the clo- I'm, I'm 40 i just turned 40 but the closer I got to being 40, the um, less self-conscious I've been. So I'm like, this is how I look. This is who I am. You don't like it. Your problem. I'm yeah. like, you know, I can't do much about it. So, yeah. yeah. And we need more women in the paranormal field. I know a lot of people like, oh, oh she goes. But we, I don't see a lot of us in the field. No. Like, and then normally, you know, if you, if there are any um, on a team, it's not they're normally a medium. Or the guys are the lead. Yeah. And they just like kind yeah. of yeah. whenever. We've got our girl power going on and we're having fun and, yeah. you know. And we don't like, yeah, we generally don't, yeah, get scared. Yeah. Um, really at all and it's no, always just the two of us at locations we get super excited like if something happens we get and so we re- excited we, re- we chase like, you know yeah a door slams down the hall we're running down the hall yeah <laughs> <laughs> what happened there yeah <laughs> see if we can get another one <laughs> we're powerful. yeah no we're having lots of fun with it but um also learning a lot too yeah so. yeah but it's 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 good it's more than a hobby it's a passion you go down. Yeah, yeah yeah absolutely yeah because i i got into this i'm doing this this way because it's a safe way and like yeah <laughs> what i've been wanting to do like get in a group and look for somebody like because my husband said it's okay but you need you need a group of people you need to be you, you can't do. go by yourself i'm like yeah he's right i can't just go yeah yeah no Rambo. It's, it's <laughs> Yeah. And um, you know, especially with her um being a medium, it's um trickier because things yeah. wanna try and well it's happened our next is it's in the next video, isn't it? Well it was in the trailer it's anyway. In, yeah. Um yeah, <clears throat> at the roundhouse something somebody was trying to come through. Yeah. And, um, and I take went over a trance and she was say. just staring off and I called her name like five times and she, she didn't even move. So I had to go in and lift no, her face No, you said up. I was swaying. No, I called, I don't remember if you were swaying, but I had to lift her face up to make eye contact. And then she snapped out. But yeah. yeah. That that was probably, yeah, the, the sketchiest. <laughs> um, but yeah, My like, I mean, nervous. we learned so much just from that investigation. Mm. I've got part two uh premiering on monday which will be sunday for you guys um but yeah like we've learned so much since then so and because i'm learning how to you know put that wall up um you know to protect myself especially as you know like we've got a couple of locations that are very very active with a lot of like negative um spirits like mm. the ones in, you know jail the other ones like a big prison here in perth and um yeah but we're going there for my birthday for a two on yeah, it <laughs> that's an awesome <laughs> birthday gift yeah, <laughs> I've been to prison and done a tour there i've done two i got i like the torchlight tour the nighttime one because it's creepier and a bit scarier and they tell you ghost stories and stuff mm. and so 
yeah, I thought that would be a fun way to celebrate her birthday. Yeah, and we did an investigation on her. Yeah, so. we went and did an investigation <laughs> on my birthday. I was uh, my birthday was on the thirtieth, and her birthday's on the thirteenth. So this coming week. Well, happy yeah. birthday, happy belated birthday. <laughs> What do you think about the popularity in the paranormal now? And how can we explain to others, especially younger people, that want to jump into the paranormal without understanding how dangerous it can get? That it's not like they see on TV or even yeah. in movies. I think doing research, so really <clears throat> understanding what you get, you know, what you could be getting yourself into. Um and by research, I mean understanding what kind of tools. So if you're going to use a Ouija board, you better know how to use it safely because people think it's a game and then they have big problems. Yeah. Um, or, Ooh. you know, other things like that, doing seances, I think is kind of dangerous because, yeah. Again, if you don't know what if you're you doing. Don't know. We're, yeah. we're more comfortable using electronics and our own intuition Ooh. to try and, you know, get um cap get activity or capture anything like that yeah um, i think like a lot of um younger people i mean the popularity with the paranormal i think is you know has been gaining momentum for years because of you know all the hollywood movies that have come out mm. and you know like i mean just like sharma saying with the ouija board you know like kids were like cool let's go buy a Ouija board and they I don't know what they're opening yeah. up um by using it but you know also you know watching you know the tv shows like you said or you know youtube channels that aren't um uh you know 100 percent genuine <laughs> yeah. so I think, oh, great, you know, like if we go to this haunted location, we're going to get lights swinging, doors slamming, things thrown at us. It's, and it's, it's not, not like that. that. It's not, you know, it's, like Sean and It's I, a lot less intense sure. than people think it is. Yeah, like Sean and I, um, you know, will sometimes spend two or three days at one location um, and we'll combine that activity. So. Yeah it just it doesn't just come when you want it to come no you know, it's something that you've got to be patient for and you know know how to i guess interact um with yep. them in a safe way and um getting i mean I, I like to get a little bit of information about where we are yeah. where we're investigating to begin with but i don't want to have too much information because it's nice when you get you know when you get some kind of evidence yeah. comes through and then you're later on you can validate it with <clears throat> you know some other kind of research or something like that so yeah. but i think too um it's really important that you know young people or anyone um who is interested in starting you know Fantastic. doing the investigations is you know don't do it by yourself. No. Um, number one rule. And um, learn you know, how to we protect have a, yourself spiritually. Yeah, we, we have a friend who, who does it on her own, but, you know, it's not by choice. And she has, you know, a few years of experience. So <clears throat> she knows how to protect herself and, and that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, just maybe join a group. Yeah. If it something that you're interested Go in. Join in a group. Yeah, like join a group because then you kind of get a feel for what it's actually like yeah. before you just jump headfirst into it. Yeah. Or, you know, if you want to really experience some fun, go and stay for a week at a haunted hotel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, interesting things can happen. I saw my first ghost at Green Hills. Um full body apparition it was early in the morning so I couldn't see color but a nine or ten year old little Ooh. girl with sort of your length dark curly hair um yeah and she was there for a while because I kept looking away and looking back like am I really seeing this <laughs> <laughs> but true. um I didn't know about her until I went down that morning and said to the owner I think I saw a little girl this morning she's like what kind of dress was she wearing? I'm like, oh, she's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah. 
because yeah, they see her in a a lot of a lot more men than women see her, and she's always in a red dress. Yeah, That's cool. I think probably the only other thing that you know I would you know warn younger people or anyone about is you know even if you are with you know another person or three or four of you you know because it, there's a lot of it on youtube with um exploring abandoned places and, yeah. and stuff like that and oh, that's really you know, like dangerous. for me you know like we had an experience like the night we went investigating with Sean, yeah, for where my birthday. we actually <laughs> thought it was a real person but it was a shadow person and that was probably you know like we're not afraid of you know what we encounter because we know how to you know deal against it and protect ourselves against it it's the people yeah and especially over in the states or you know anywhere well, where it there's matter. anywhere yeah anywhere. like just especially if you're exploring something you know that yeah not many people go to you, know, you never around. know who could be around yeah. and yeah. just pop in like hey what are you doing yeah, yeah. exactly that's, um, that's but we have fight responses instead of flight responses so we were we were ready to <laughs> yeah i was gonna you know oh, use my heavy case to like dunk across the head but... she's got this massive like military style torch and i was like yep i can yeah i've got my weapon i'm good <laughs> oh, <awesome. I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> What's the other question? Oh, okay. Ooh. This one's a little deeper. I only ask these questions because I've been through a haunting myself. So I want people to get a good idea. Like this isn't just the 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 stage part of what they see on TV. Like, oh my God, oh this. Like they could go home and yeah. they're not prepared mentally. They could get into some deep mental yep. places that's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, the next question was, do you think you may have gotten some, and this is from what I saw in your video um, mm -hmm. about your haunting, do you yeah. think you may have gotten some form of PTSD, which I have, from your experience when you were 15? The only reason I asked is because I went through something similar when I was 10 and my brother was six years old. Yeah, it's not, um, it's not fun. It really isn't. Um, you know, it was tearing our family apart for, you know, just over a year. So um, I I think so um, because, you know, I was kind of like thinking about it and, you know, I mentioned to Sean, you know, and she was like, well, yeah, because you won't even look in an older mirror. Yeah, if it's an antique mirror, she's not looking at it. Yeah. So one of the locations that we filmed at, you know, a couple of times, Green Hills Inn, that has got, you know, big mirrors everywhere. mirrors everywhere in the bedrooms. And there was one mirror that looked very, very similar to the one that I had um, oh, wow. the issue with. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, yeah, I didn't like going in that room I wouldn't even like glance in that direction mm. um but yeah there's a big one on the stairs so every time we'd walk down the stairs I would just look down at my feet as I walked yeah. past so yeah I guess in a sense that's um some form of PTSD mm. um you might because but... I I went through what I'm sorry to interrupt <laughs> that's okay um I went through that and I like a few years ago when I was working so I'm like I have to figure out what's why am I so anxious and stuff so I went to a doctor and they figured out I have some form of PTSD but they they couldn't find from what because I didn't tell them that I went through that uh, I was telling them the symptoms but I wasn't telling them from like maybe what yeah. it was yeah I, was well, like, I can't figure out from what it is I'm like if I tell you if I think I'm crazy <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say but they have history in Milwaukee like my from my family like um the colleges will give you like a free therapy for the family so we were going to therapy for years yeah. oh wow why and then the my yours is the mirrors mine's is my brother would have tics or like shout from what he had like he saw a commercial. He was six. I was ten. 
the Emily Exorcist thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. For some reason, that was on at three o'clock after cartoons. And me and him were just, watching, <laughs> we were just watching TV, and all of a sudden that came on. I'm like in shock because it's the part where she's coming upside down through the walking, running down the stairs. Yeah. Oh. Six. <laughs> and my my dad just had gotten from work and he was just getting cleaned up and he's like he had no idea and he starts screaming but he can't stop so that's where I get my like I can't have anybody uh, or do this like weird ticks it starts to annoy me yeah. dad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's from that like it'll bring me back bad memories and yeah and that from that <clears throat> for some reason that turned into it might be a poltergeist. It might be. I'm still. I'm still learning what it could have been. Yeah. Oh. I'm still going through that. Thing. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that's probably the frustrating part because, you know, like back when I was 15 and I went through all of this, you know, like I also had all the, you know, good old teenage hormones going as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I was under you know, counselling uh, throughout that year. And, you know, I was very fortunate that, you know, once my mum smashed the mirror, it all stopped. So that was good. But, um, yeah, it's... It leaves the imprint. It does, yes. yeah. yeah. Yes, I was left always. And then the way we left the place was like, because after the years we went to therapy, I'm cutting it short my mom kept pushing to find out what it was because it wasn't just him ticks and stuff he was seeing things I didn't see anything we would hear stuff I didn't never saw anything till maybe the last years towards it there was things being flung but it was rare arguments uh blah 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 like everything you would look for the signs were there I don't want to be too long yeah Um, my mom kept like looking and looking and then she talked to a pastor grandma we made a circle prayer circle and after that that was recently after my uncle died and my, my grandpa had died so like everybody uh-huh. was fed up with it <laughs> that place yeah. yeah they did a circle a prayer circle and then the pastor ended up saying there was a portal in my room so I was like oh that's wow. great that's the only thing that from like validates that it wasn't just yes yeah. maybe paranormal and other things like it wasn't just yeah, yeah I mean I we left, we left that same month I think we left I remember the day and everything it was January mm. the 18th 2003 like the date I have it locked away. yeah yeah see my mom um you know and I didn't know but she was seeing you know these this dark shadow even through the day every time she walked past my room and then you know when I started acting like really out of character she was just like hmm because my mum's got quite a few gifts as well so I think that's where mine come from Mm -hmm. but um yeah that went on for a few weeks but yeah it it's it's horrible and she you know like when things started getting worse, she went to, because at the time um, I was still Catholic. And so my mum went and saw our Catholic priest and he was like, yeah, she's def- she's got a negative attachment. And that was it. Like, he wouldn't help. That so <laughs> the priest have to get um, sanctioned by, they've got to get permission. Yeah, yeah, but like he, he didn't even come to the house. Yeah. Um, right. and and mum, there was no because he said, Can you bring Peter in? And she's like, There's no way I'm going to get her to come down and talk to you because I wouldn't even go and you know see a doctor. So the only reason I ended up in counseling is, um, I used to play a lot of like. Uh, netball and I used to umpire and when I was setting up um, for a game one day the pole slipped and you know like stuffed up my one of my fingers Ouch. and 
yeah, so mum used that to tell me, okay, like I've made an appointment for you um, about my finger. So that's what I'm going in for. That's what's in my head. <laughs> and I uh, get there and he has a quick look at my finger and he's like, so how's everything else going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, um, and then it kind of stuck. So, yeah, my mum was a little bit sneaky with that. <laughs> but, yeah, she never stopped fighting, never stopped. That's good though. I like your story though, because it feels like it ends with like it's pretty. Like it ends on a good note. And then yeah, keep doing yeah. everything. That's really cool. And um, I think that's why, you know, because I never really um you know, labeled my gifts. Um it's like hard I'm to label like, it, isn't it? Because I I'm the yeah, same way. I've, I've always been have. <laughs> And, you know, like I'd get premonitions and, you know, visions and just all this stuff. I'd get feelings and, you know, and, and when I was married, um, you know, my husband just, you know, it was like, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, after a few times of me being like dead on, like the stuff, like on the spot, he started taking notice. So if I said to him, you know, like, um, we're not leaving at this time, we need to leave earlier or later, he'd be like, yep, all right, cool. So, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. It took a while for my husband, like, to, to get it to. I was telling him, like, yeah. I see things, so don't be freaked out if our, if our daughter gets in head, like, because it's in the family and the women's Oh, family. yeah, it's very I mean, my mom, my mom's, gifts are stronger than mine I don't know that she's an empath as much but mm. she she gets she has precognition so she That's knows when mom. it's going to happen mm. um, and she can read someone's personality just by looking at something that they've written mm -hmm. and you there is a aspect of that that you can do but it's a limited scope of what you'll get about the person she was able to tell um, a, one of the girls she worked with, she was a nurse, they were nurses. Um, she showed my mom this letter from a guy she was seeing. And my mom said, no, don't, tr you can't trust him. Um, he's been in prison. And come to find out, he was in prison for fraud. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, my mom's like that. She'll like, and I used to be like, no. And she'd be like, no, this is going to happen. And da, yep. da, 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 da. I'm like, okay. And it would just be just like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've had my young one um, say, you know, when I've said something and, and then it happens. And he's like, but how do you always know? And I'm like, oh, because mums know everything, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think yeah. I think I have a theory for that because I didn't have it as strong as until I gave birth though, with my little girl. After mm -hmm. I gave birth, it just went it went asleep for a little bit and then it came back strong. Mm -hmm. Like it was weird. Like I was like yeah. missing the connection. I'm like, where is it? What happened? I have no dreams. I had nothing. I felt a little weird. You needed yeah. some rest because new baby. <laughs> That's Probably. why. And then yeah. after that, it's just it went boom, I'm back. Like a year or two later, yeah. it started coming back. Yeah. Um, I think I think the theory is that since we are like connection to life, birth, like maybe it just we have a stronger connection as women. I'm that's my me thinking. Of. I call it woman's intuition for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, the more I investigate, um the more, um, like, the stronger they get. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, when we went, you know, for the investigation on Charles' birthday, you know, I was seeing the different energy waves and I wasn't cool. visually seeing it and I was trying to explain it to Sean. <laughs> <I was laughs> like, okay, the, the starry night Van Gogh painting where it's twisting and yeah. overlapping. And so like all different kind of energies. And, you know, we had a spirit that, you know, threw a couple of, you know, small rocks. And so we walked further up and, you know, I just like 
you know, look over and, you know, they have like, you know, little... Alcoves uh, in, yeah. in the tunnel where people could move into if the train was coming through. Yeah, and I knew that was the spot because I could see it was, it was like looking at a waterfall, but um, more transparent. So it was like this kind of um oh I shimmering know veil type yeah. thing like over that like when part. the street it has like that wave of the heat that kind yeah. of yeah mm. yeah and so I'm trying to explain it Sean I'm just like oh my gosh you're gonna think I'm crazy but uh -huh. like I, I don't know like is this normal <laughs> well I um, can see the energy field around people if the auras I look, yeah I could do that. Uh, it's not easy for me, but it'll be random. Like if you're in a white wall after a while talking to you, I might pick it up sometimes. I don't. Yeah. Pick it up. I mean, I used to lie in bed and I just used to look at my hands and yeah. watch the movie. Yep. Um, well, I know what you're talking about, but mm. it was really funny because <laughs> at that point she says to me, "She goes, my heart's racing." I'm like, mm. "I'm standing there for a minute and I'm trying to get a feel of the spot that we're in." I'm like, I feel terror, but not my terror. It's somebody else's terror. It's like, we need to, we need to leave. And that's all she had to say. And I was just like, yep, cool. I grabbed him a case and we started walking out. Yeah. Yeah. And like, then we, and then we saw the shadow yeah. figure and we thought, okay, this, well, we, you know, there's somebody there. We were obviously getting a warning. And then we get out of the tunnel. And there's like sheer granite rock on either side. So they take the tunnel goes through a oh, big granite. Mm. So yeah. it's sheer on either side. And there's like this much space to hide behind where the tunnel ends and the sheer granite wall. There's like hardly anything. We yeah. get there, there's nobody there. You can't see anyone who, there's no way they climbed the wall. Mm. And um, I just felt like that was more, it was a uh, get out of here now because someone, someone bad's coming. Yeah. That was my feeling. Because, you know, like I was walking a few metres ahead of, you know, Sean and her husband and I'm just like, hang on a sec, stop. And Sean had the torch and it's like, you know, all over the place. And, and I'm like, like, what's, Always what's that? What's that? <laughs> and Sean and Darren just like, what? And I'm like, yeah, didn't there's see something the... slack like dead center of the entrance like mm. how can you not see that and then I'm like it's moving but it didn't like you know like a human would like step just... sideways it just kind of went from here then here then here and then kind of behind the entryway yeah. and it was and then we kept that... seeing it look out and yeah. pop back and look out and pop it was back and your, your torch it was avoiding. Oh. It was avoiding your torch. It's like no, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't, they don't I mean, like light. I've noticed. But that. I mean, all three of us saw it, so it wasn't like it was. And the reason that we, um, the reason we got suspicious is because we heard movement to begin with. Oh, yeah, we heard someone walking. But we would have heard them running away because that. You know, sound carries through. There was, no there was no way for them to hide. Like there was no way for them to hide. We would have heard them leaving. And That's we all insane. three thought. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it was too far away to actually like get yeah, a she, good voice. As soon as, we get, as soon as we got back to her, she's like, okay, send me that video because <laughs> I want to have a look. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. I've only seen maybe once or twice a shadow with black like those dark shadows yeah. thank god <laughs> like yeah. i try to I, I, i've seen loads that one was and... sinister that one was yeah. bad news um, but it could have been that like granite reminded me of granite's the... a conductor yeah and it reminded me of you know yeah, like back absolutely. when i was 15 and i would always see this big black shadow and you know it went you know, it would be, say, in the corner of my room and it didn't just stop at the ceiling. It was kind of like even over the ceiling. It was just like, yeah. and as soon as, like, I would, like, look, it would just, like, shrink, like, so quickly in, you know, probably quicker than a blink of the eye. Mm. Um, what my brother would see was 
It was like an old, weird, ugly man. He would say, it's a dead man. It's an ugly dead man. He wants to come and get me. He, we only got that out of him because we're on the way to the hospital and the ambulance and the, the people there was like, what's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? And he confessed to that. Huh? Is he psychic? I'm pretty sure he is. He's way stronger than I am. That's, that's the, the word that I kept getting every time you spoke about him. I'm like, he's psychic. Yeah, he's always wow. hiding in his... In his little, yeah. I'm worried about him right now. Hopefully he's fine because yesterday we talked. Well, but since well, we, I went to that class... And we were talking about, like, from that, I'm trying to get that closed because I feel like it's not closed yet. And we're working on it. Yeah. Mm. And it's something, yeah. and I have not told him anything. And he went back to the weird habit he would get to from back then. He was quiet. He didn't want to talk. Mm. And my mom was like, there's something going on. I'm like, I know what it is, but I can't tell you. <laughs> Probably shouldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah. We're, I'm trying to work out. Oh, I hope right. that, um, yeah, I hope it gets sorted soon. Hopefully. But yeah, I, I mean, I've had random spirits just come, come say hi, and I'm just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. What the? You know, like it happened at my last house. I can recall every freaking detail. It's the yeah. weirdest thing. It to my mom. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just like, um, right, wonder what he wanted. <laughs> His thing, I think it is, my mom said, and it's so weird because I don't see that too often. He'll, if he gets mad, he'll say, this, this, and this is going to happen to you. And it happens. <laughs> that's mm. his thing but he'll he'll know i think his thing is like more like i know he's very smart yeah, yeah. Knowing. my thing is just dreams and i'll probably get a vision but most of it is dreams mm. and, um, empathic stuff mm. i don't know anything more than that because i haven't gone on like a investigation officially or anything the only way i tested it is i went to with my mom's blessing <laughs> <laughs> she goes to church she's the what they call it the one that like she's officially or not ordained but she has like she's protected like she knows what she's doing she's been in church long enough now like mom i'm gonna do this because i'm on a journey my husband's coming can you bless us just to be like safe I'm like yeah. yeah and we went to zach's Honda museum that, ah, cool. that's what I knew that yeah I might have something for sure it's not mentally <laughs> Cause I, saw, I saw shadows I saw energy I saw things going on and I'm trying to take uh, peace stay like, calm and not freak everybody else around me <laughs> you gotta go in with that that shield up. Up. Yeah. like I'm willing to see but I'm not willing to Experience. The only time I got that one time the mediumship thing was with my husband's grandma, God bless her soul. Like I felt bad, and I guess we connected, and I just started bawling out, crying. I saw her coming, and she's. I just started crying, but it wasn't me. It was her, like trying to tell him something, and I was Aww. like, "Whoa!" <laughs> that was the first time. But it's scary because I don't want to be. Like I heard people don't like to be out of control. You have to be kind of like. Yeah, and that's where, like, I'm, you know, like, where my journey's at. I'm trying to stay, you know, on, you know, the path with my beliefs and, mm -hmm. you know, my Christianity mm -hmm. without, you know, veering off into, you know, kind of more new age type stuff. But, um, you know... On talking about grandma, like my grandma, you know, passed quite a while back and like I could feel her because it was just me, mum and dad on Christmas Day because kids were with dad this year, well, that last year. And, yeah, like I could feel that my grandma was there. So anyway, as I'm leaving, I said goodbye to mum and dad and I get, I was there, I was there or I was here, I was here, and I'm just like, I know you were, Grandma. And I keep walking and I get to my door and it's like she's screaming in my head. So I'm just like, because oh, I, I don't want to tell my mom mm -hmm. because she was already a bit emotional. I'm just like, I don't want to, like, you know, yeah, understand yeah. her and everything. But she was so insistent, so I had to call my over to her and I'm like, look, Grandma's wanting you to know that she was here today. Yeah. And mum was like, 
yeah, yeah. I, know, I know she was and I'm like yeah she really was <laughs> <laughs> That's so like, um my grandmother used to pop in and check on me and I'd be able to feel her energy because you know somebody you love you know what their energy feels mm. like when they're alive yeah. it's the same feeling when they passed over but my husband's father passed away and he was a man who was always into everybody's business always wanted to know what you were doing where you were going who you were seeing what was happening blah, blah, blah. and um he passed away before his grandkids were born so we we were really upset about that but my brother-in-law is also very sensitive i mean he's very very sensitive um Ooh. but my my father-in-law's energy is so busy and i'll feel him pop in and check on his grandkid grand boy grandson and um my brother-in-law bruce says he'll he gets the same feeling every now and again that his dad pops in and checks on them and sees how they're doing and what they're doing and yeah so mm. you know I, how I, it's weird it's hard to explain it to people who because they think oh yeah you're just it's no. just your mind you miss on, just on your mind yeah. but i've had to <laughs> I've had too many experiences since I was a little kid to say that my ability to feel at least emotion is, it's real. I mean, I felt physical pain when my sister was having, having an operation and I felt it in exactly the same spot she was having her up. So, explain that to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They'll, people will probably start to, I'm more of, I'm Christian, but I'm open-minded. Yeah. And I feel like, I think it's, as a human, as humanity, we're getting more and more connected, but people don't understand how connected we really are. So yeah. subconsciously, yeah. we'll pick up stuff. It is psychic, but it explains why a yeah. lot of us get like that. One day yeah. we will, yeah. will understand. <laughs> That's yeah, me babbling. I, I, I <laughs> look at that like the gifts that I have that, you know, God has blessed me with them. So when he wants me to see something or know mm -hmm. something, then I will. Yeah. You know, when he opens doors, we'll go through them. We've had that since we started yeah. our channel we, together. Well, our and prayer has always you know, been, if you want us to do these things, open the doors. If you don't, slam them shut. Yeah. And, and, and we have had that happen to us, you know, we've had doors closed and yeah, it's frustrating, but at the end of the day, we're like, yep, yeah, okay. It's obviously not, meant to be. Yeah. yeah. Not this time around. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think that's, if you, if you've got a good, um, spiritual base and you know what your faith is, you know what you believe. Any, I mean, the Bible talks about the gifts of the spirit. There's so many exactly. gifts, which I have a little bit of. Um, there's all sorts, but making sure that you're not um, being led astray, I suppose, is an important thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know, for for us, um, and we don't judge anybody else or their beliefs or what no. you know how they live their lives, but this is how we yeah how we live out like you know everyone is entitled to their own belief system their own opinion we don't yeah we don't distinguish you know anything else you know we don't like, you know, say someone who's a different religion and be like yeah i'm not going to talk to you yeah no we don't care yeah we don't care i'm the same way i like i'll talk to you you're satanic fine you respect me i respect you it's your yeah. way of thinking it's my way of thinking the planet will never be fixed or get any better if we don't think like that. Yeah. It'll, it'll just. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right. Wait, I think we're a little over. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a good, this oh, is the last question. Talk to you. Three, three, <laughs> three no, women I, work together. Oh, no, I love it though. <laughs> um, dangerous. When, 
dangerous is good (laughs) (laughs) um when do you know when to stop oh this is a good question when do you know when to stop an investigation and why i think you guys kind of yeah it's normally when activity dies down is when we stop or Or we're exhausted (laughs) <laughs> yeah, or the, you know, like the situation at the tunnel where yeah. Yeah. you know, you know, had that feeling of you we need, need to, to get now. out like now. Yeah, and it's not you know like if we get that feeling even at a location, um, it's yeah, like screw whatever's going to happen, evidence filming whatever yeah protecting ourselves comes first Mm -hmm. so if we feel like we're you know under spiritual attack from something you know very negative Mm -hmm. then yeah Mm -hmm. yeah unfortunately most of the places that we visit we stay (laughs) at so yeah but we haven't had that happen you know where we've stayed so yeah yeah Mm -hmm. okay um, yeah, most it, we haven't had very many negative experiences. No, um, that's no. good. But yeah, there's there's sort of a, a a point where everything runs out of energy and everything gets quiet, which is understandable. But we did at one location when we were trying to start an investigation, it was dead. And it, was <laughs> girl, it was a girl's boarding house. Um, over 100 years ago mm. and so we were like right we're gonna go around and go come on everyone out of bed chores to be done yeah. to be made, blah, blah, blah. you know try and get things and yeah we we got some really good evidence that night too so yeah, yeah it worked <laughs> <laughs> so, wake yeah, up everyone i think you know how how everyone always goes into a jail and says right i'm the new warden yeah. Uh, yeah. that kind of thing definitely works yeah, but it was yeah. Pennsylvania you, has a lot of stuff. You don't even need. Oh to yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just walk into something. That's why I've had more experience here than in other places. I don't. I mm-hmm. didn't think I was gonna have that much experience this week. <laughs> I mean, I've always wanted to go to New Orleans because oh, yeah, yeah, that would be really interesting. Oh. And um, Savannah, Georgia, because. Yeah, no, lots around there. Super haunted. Yeah. Pretty much everywhere there. Yeah. <laughs> Can I come? <laughs> All right. Um, so, girls road trip. <laughs> yeah. And we already clicked, so it's just, it wouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys for coming on the show thanks for having us yes it was great you. it was great it was to chat super much fun um yeah you could check out their channel at the ether sisters paranormal on youtube.com i'll leave the links and any uh information down below and again thank you Tita and, and um oh my god Sean. it's so hard <laughs> i'm looking <laughs> so thank you guys. my parents gave me a great name for everyone to mess up so <laughs> it's a really pretty name though i love it thank you <laughs> so, so i hope you guys like share and, and subscribe to the channel and to theirs too they have good stuff on their channel and see you again till next time yeah. Yeah. thanks All right. bye, bye.